Hi everyone, I'm Pratima. I welcome you all to this video. So today there is another tutorial in GeoGebra, how to plot graphs or how to show graphing the functions or to draw the graph of a functions using GeoGebra. So let us begin and I hope you have already learned how to install it in your mobile or in laptop or in computer. So it, you can do your work both online as well as offline. So my GeoGebra icon is on the desktop. So I am opening a new file. And today I'll work with graphics so no need of deleting the graphics only little bit i'll move this graphics view to my right side so that i'll get a clear picture now this is algebra view and you can see below in the left there is an input bar you can see a clear box is there this is for inputting the value of this function so that it can show you the graph. If it is not visible in your page or your file, that means this input bar is unchecked. So for that you go to view, then go to input bar, see that it should be checked. Now you can see if I am unchecking, there is no white bar here if i'll check again check it will show you the bar so i'll draw the graph of this function you know that uh, y is equal to x square y is equal to x and i am talking about in class 11 there are functions and graph of some common functions so first i'm going for fx is equal to x which is an identity function so i'm name, naming it i'm writing your f x within bracket as we write is equal to x so immediately it is showing that fx is equal to x but after typing press enter then you can see the graph name of the function here I'm little bit making it bigger so that it will be clear. I'm writing font size as 16. So fx is equal to x and this is the graph. And I want to, I want that the, the name of the graph will be shown here. So I'll go for object properties. Then here I want to be shown name and value. So this is the name and value, then cross it. So automatically it is showing in below. So you can shift it, fx is equal to x. Now thing very interesting thing, when you will uncheck it, see the graph gone. That means don't think that it is not there. It is deleted, it is there. Check it, you will get the graph. Next, I'm unchecking it because I want to draw another function. I'm drawing now y is equal to x square or a quadratic function or a polynomial function for that i'm i'll give something name is different i'm giving gx because i have already written the name fx there so gx is equal to x for square i'll go for arrow and two how we write digitally see it is showing the fx is equal to x square so again, I'll go for press enter, then it will show in the left side. Now right click on it, go for object properties, then again change it to name and value. So you can see immediately it is showing gx is equal to x square. So I'm unchecking again. Next, I'll go for cubic function h x is equal to x to the power 3 x power power is arrow shift with arrow that 3 this is fx is equal to 3 
you can see very interestingly it is showing different different colors so i'll go for objective properties then again here name and value and this so this is your hx so i drawn three functions fx gx and hx one is identity function one is polynomial another is quadratic another is your cubic so by checking each one at a time i have checked check means it will show blue i'll click the mouse on this button so fx is equal to x fx is gx is equal to x square then is equal to x s cube or if you want to show all the things at a time you can check all the functions now coming to another function i'll take your fx is equal to 1 by x fx is equal to a rational function so here i'll name as f dash x f dash x is equal to 1 slash x see f dash is equal to 1 by x so you know this is a rational function and i'll go for object properties and i'll go for name and value so cross it so it is showing fx is equal to 1 by x so next function is i'm going for the modulus function so let us me name it g dash x is equal to this is the modulus function so right click on it object properties go for name and value so it will show now let me uncheck of the sex so this is modulus function you can change the color also next I'm going for greatest integer function. So greatest integer function is, it does not take the square bracket here. So what is the command? Command is floor x is floor x. This is the this is the command for greatest integer function. So you can check one by one. This is function fx. You can save it. File save as your. I can write it as graph plotting. In the desktop only I have saved it. It is showing nothing. So one by one you can show to the children and from the graph you can teach many things. You can teach what is the domain and range of the function. One by one you can go. So similarly you can draw the trigonometric functions also. They are little bit you have to change the axis so i hope it is a very useful tool for mathematics teacher because we are nothing without the graph so thank you for watching i hope it is a very interesting one so you can show your children or if you don't find draw yourself you can comment in the box box so that I can share my app. Thank you. Thank you and have a nice time.